check, 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 check. It's Thursday night and we're coming live. 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 You're now tuned into your source with real hip hop and underground music. On the ones and twos, we got my girl Rachel and my main man Evan. This is my show. Tell them haters kiss my ass, this Italian leather 30 hours in a day, babe, my shit is together Put my heart in the beat, feel the bass forever I got a ball, motherfucker, I could take the pressure uh, Told them that I ain't living Women gaze the eyes, I got a pretty good vision Never worry about the flash Southeastern's own oh, 90.9 KSLU we are finally, all right, is this working? We switched rooms. Yes, Can yes. everyone hear everyone? You hear us, Nick? Yeah, I definitely hear you guys. Okay, that means that since you can hear Nick, Nick is finally in the building. Uh, we are happy to have you here finally, sir. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, man. You doing all right tonight? Yeah, definitely doing well. Okay, um, so let's just get right into it, I guess. Who Who is ED Nix? Man, that question, who is ED Nix? Um, and that's that's like I I guess other than the obvious, we know you rap. I rap. We know. I mean, I know. We've known each other for a little while yeah. now. Probably about a year and a half, almost two years, man. Like it's, it's time kind of flies. It is kind of crazy yeah. to me. And you know, so I know that you rap. Obviously, yeah. um, I would say that you're definitely business minded. Yeah. Not to you know. You know, that's that's definitely a, a, a good way to put it. Right. You know, um, I, I I definitely am involved in other. Uh, business endeavors and you know I'm into film, I'm into to, uh, you know music obviously I do I do events right occasionally you know that's actually something interesting that I just saw recently you scored a movie yeah did you yeah that's not something that what you and I what movie is that yeah uh, it was a short film for the 48 hour film project okay um it actually got like great reviews mm -hmm. um the score did too really like, I actually Got nominated for uh, a, a award for the 48 Hour Film Project. Um, it was it was if y'all if y'all not too familiar with that. No, yeah, no. Um, they give it's it's a it's basically a bunch of independent film directors. Mm -hmm. It's like 39 different film departments or whatever. Um, film teams, said departments, right? Thing. Um, and you basically get a, a genre, prop, and a line. Okay. And they give you 48 hours to develop a script and actually shoot and edit okay, wow. a film. And you have to do it in 48 hours. Wow. wow. So, so did you go to that event like to score a movie, to be put on a team to score, or you just wanted to be involved and that's how it happened? I actually, one of the, uh, one, Adrienne, um, Adrienne Domino, she, with 3517 Lost Street Productions, um, they, they actually did a film. Okay. Um, she reached out to me and asked me to be involved. We had a couple meetings, you know, right. rules was discussed and I was I was placed with doing the score and I mean I actually that was my first time ever doing it. Right. So yeah. I was I was kinda nervous, you know, but I, I, I pretty much I, did, I I held my own. The film was, was pretty was pretty it was pretty much a success. Um, we did a screening at the Pretania Theater. Okay, yeah, that's cool. It was actually, like, sold out what people were actually scalping tickets. That's really? awesome. Yeah, like, that was, like, the first... Like, that's when I, you know you made yeah, it, when people I, scalping I, tickets. Man, yeah, like, I was just on the, I've been performing, like, live music for, I would like to say, about a good six to seven years, you know? Mm. And I've never... Did a did a, a live concert and had cats scalp and tickets. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for the score, right? For the movie, yeah. People were outside selling tickets. You what know? part did you play? Um, you said what bar? What part? What part? I didn't actually play any. What I did? I was a bartender in the movie. Okay. For like, a half a second, I was an extra. I was telling my sister, she's like a real actor. Mm -hmm. she, she was like, I said actor, actress. She was like, 
um, I hope they didn't give you any lines. I was like, man, but I, I could make a good face. You know I was a good boss and I was wiping hard. But yeah, they, they actually let me um, get a, you know, a, a, a part as an extra. My, my face kind of blood, it was a quick right. scene, but it was cool, you know? Well, that's cool. So, I mean, we got into the movie side <laughs> of Nick's first, but yeah. I guess the real reason we're here is the music. Mm -hmm. um, recently, you put out, what, two albums, that yeah. I would call it? I, what is the difference, you know what I mean, between I mean, the albums? I would say, I would say On My Way Home is a mixtape because okay. it was free. You know, I, I did put that out on KevinNottingham.com. It's available. Then I, I drop how you earn it shortly after. Right. Which is which is like I would say my debut official LP right. is for sale. You, it's on iTunes, Amazon, all major online distributors. So. And then I guess what I get confused about sometimes mm -hmm. is people will put out a project for free, like on my way home, mm -hmm. but it's majority if not all original music. Yeah. So for that that to me, like, where do you draw that? You know what I mean? It's free, so it's a mixtape, but yeah. it's quote-unquote still original music and a concept. Yeah, and my creative process for us, like, doing beat checks, I, I, I'm not opposed to that. Right. But I don't think, I, I'm not too much into putting out a whole project for the beat checks. I would much rather create something organic and put out a you know, right. project like that. So that's why I'm working on something right now. So. Like, you'll get into that. Yeah, you know? before we get, you know, all of our talking <laughs> right. in the first yeah. break, let's get into On My Way Home. Uh, the first two tracks we're going to hear are Forest and Lost in the Flash. Oh, Forest. that is my favorite, Lost in the Flash, just so you know. Oh, man, like, like Lost in the Flash? <laughs> yes. Man, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, yeah. Forest was the one I wanted to play 100%, and then she, I had to put her on your music the last couple weeks, mm -hmm. and Lost yeah, in the I Flash. Yeah, I heard it when I was editing it, and... Mm -hmm. I just like it. Oh, man. Shout out to John Mercury on the, um, on the beat. Mm -hmm. Hey. And Corvus. Um, John Mercury is kind of the reason you're even here. Well, I guess you're the reason that yeah. John Mercury is the reason you're yeah. here. <laughs> I mean, I it just works out. Play. You know, we, we actually, he did a lot, a lot of work together. You know what I'm saying? We, oh, yeah. He did a lot in front of the camera, behind the scenes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that dude. Got a baby on the way. Yeah. I'm happy for him. All right, well, if you don't have anything to say about these tracks in particular and you'd rather just get into it, we can do that. I mean, well, you know, On My Way Home, my first project. Forest, the first track on my first project. So It's appropriate. You know, it's appropriate. Uh, shout out to Morgan Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> um, John Mercury made the beat. Uh, shout out to Danae Wy Waller yes. on a, on a uh, feature, too. She, she did some uh, awesome job on the vocals. And uh, like I said, On My Way Home, available, kevinnineham.com. You know what I'm saying? Alright, get that. Let's get into some music. We got Miranda in the room. Hopefully, you're ready to hit the button for us. You ready? Alright, here it is right now. Forest on mic check. You are just a bunch of niggas and specs and poor white trash. Education is wasted on you. You lost. Walk alone in the rain, not a grain up in my pocket. Not a alligator in the corner, pull my heart out. All right, and we're back on mic check on Southeastern Zone 90.9. KSLU. And we are here again, if you haven't been paying attention, with Edie Nix. Yes, sir. And we added an extra song to the little block. Uh, technical difficulties, but it's okay because I wanted to talk about this song anyway. You just said another John Mercury beat. Shout out to Merck, Merck man. Yeah. I feel like that was like a really cool time yeah, of man. life. Definitely was a very, very interesting, cool, fun, yeah, uh, elevated time. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> for me, I mean, I don't know if I even told you this Rachel, but I, yeah, we met Nix like in the studio, we were going to write a song with him. Uh -huh. yeah. and. That's how I kind of even like got involved in this whole thing. Yeah. Like, it really? just kind of blossomed for, out of nowhere because. So you like changed his life. Damn, that's like some heavy work. It's We're like, getting personal, like, which yeah. is appropriate yeah. because wow. look, here today just came on yeah. and. He and I were talking about, you know, like the interview, we're going to come and do all the stuff. And he said, you know, we, don't be afraid to get personal, basically. Yeah. And if you listen to this song, that's one of the songs that when I was listening to On My Way Home. Now, of course, there are other reasons why it's like, you know, a great project because it has like those feelings that you want out of an album. Yeah. And like, not the cli cliche is a bad word, but almost cliche, like feelings, I guess. Well. But then when you get to that song, you're like, okay, wait, take a step back. Like, he is also 
being real. Right. Now, in reference to that, like, I guess, is that what you try to do with a lot of songs, or maybe that one, like, the particular line in the second verse that I'm talking about, where you're talking about burying your friends two times, yeah, like, well, you know, like, does that just come up in the process, or is yeah. it something that you personally felt you needed to get out, so the writing is like an outlet? I try at every creating, like, when I'm when I'm creating a song, like, it's all personal. You know what right. I'm saying? Now, to a certain degree, I d been I am a cancer, so like. <laughs> You know, I I, you know our zodiac signs out. So like, naturally, I'm a private person. Okay. So, a lot of things I don't want to talk about, but then a certain thing, certain things that I, if I don't write about it, like I never get over it. Right. And I'm saying like, and I really buried my best friend. You know, tw I, two different best friends right. got killed in two different separate okay, you know, separate times or whatever. So just going through that and you know it was the perfect the perfect storm for us to beat and the chorus hit a day gone tomorrow mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like when i say uh j j when i was talking to, when i made a reference to j i actually like kicked it with him the whole day you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. before before like i like i never usually would chill that much you know what i'm saying right. we, we really like literally kicked it all day reminisced about everything from the from the first day we met. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then the next day he was killed. You know right, what I'm yeah. saying? So like That's some heavy stuff. had a day gone tomorrow, you right. know what I'm saying? It's like it it, it brings you know Yeah. Well like, I feel like when artists get personal that's when they're at their best. Yeah. Like that's when they're good stuff. Like I don't know, their creative juices really flow. <laughs> What a life, she's such a bitch though I love her, she's so forgetful For the second I'm gone, she go on No to talk about G and Fitz Right It was just, you know, I'm writing the rhymes And, and it just it just started flowing And, you know, I, I can't I, I can't really, it's really like No real way to explain right. it, you know what I'm saying It's just, it just happened like that I do, I'm not, I'm not a, One of those artists I call them these new rappers. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes to admit that they write. You know what I'm saying? Everybody freestyles and, and all of that. Nah, I actually write. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I put thought, I put effort, I put time into my rhymes. You know what I'm saying? So if you listen, you're you're hear more than than what you're hear. Like, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs>